because they're rest Let's go. Hey guys, Leanna here and welcome to my channel, A Lot of Lee. On today's video, I'm going to show you how you can travel to Bali right now while the borders are closed. So a couple of months ago, I decided that I was going to move abroad and my whole heart was set on Bali just to find out that their borders were closed and that they weren't accepting any foreign travelers unless you had an approved visa type. Then after looking into these visas, I got even more discouraged because literally the list of requirements to get one was like this long. But I'm here to tell you that it's not impossible. It's not the shortest, it's not the cheapest. But after being here for two weeks, it is 100% worth the journey. So in this video, I'm going to take you along with me as I travel to Bali, share the resources that I use to do so, and then give you just a little sneak peek of my time on the island so far. You ready? Let's go. Okay, so we just boarded our flight in Philly to Doha. And I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit more crowded than I was expecting it to be. And then after we walked by business class, the economy is giving me real like spirit vibes. So we upgraded our next flight from Doha into Jakarta to business class. So I'm super excited about that. But I'll show you guys kind of the difference between the economy class, all Qatar Airlines, and business class once we take off from Doha to Jakarta. Okay, so we just arrived in Doha after a 12 hour flight from Philly. And even though I was talking trash, it actually wasn't that bad. Um, I feel pretty well rested considering. How do you feel? Oh, I feel pretty good, you know. Had a little treat to help me sleep, so, you know, flight wasn't too bad. I had actually planned to, to film more of the flight on the way here, but we got an ability and that didn't happen. Um, but we had... About, a well, about an hour layover before our flight to Jakarta. And because the borders to Indonesia are still closed to tourism, to get into Indonesia right now, you have to have a business visa. Um, so this is what it looks like. And I went through um, Bali Visa Agent, and I'll link all this info in the description below. Um, but it was super quick. They got it turned around in about five business days, and it cost about, what was it, 850 Yeah. About $850 USD per person. So you need that to get into Indonesia. You also have to go through a five day quarantine. All foreigners have to do this. And then you also have to have a negative um, PCR COVID test taken within 72 hours of departure. Even though the flight wasn't bad, I am super excited that we're about to fly business class on our way to Jakarta, so I will make sure to film that for you guys. They even let us in business class. Don't know how to act. Y'all already know I was hyped, so of course I had to put the pajamas on, try the tom yum soup, the tuna tartare, because obviously raw fish and airplanes just go together. Then I took a nice little slumber under this luxurious quilt that is not microfiber and capped it all off with a delicious chicken adobo. Guys, we finally made it to Chicago. 30 hours later. We made it. <sighs> so now we're on our way to go get our checked luggage. And then we have to get on a bus to go to an improved quarantine hotel for five days, which should be interesting because we didn't pre-book anything. So wish us luck. Because the borders are still closed, it was super quick and easy to clear customs. They pretty much just validated your passport, your negative PCR test, and your business visa. 
Since we didn't pre-book our quarantine hotel ahead of time, we just decided to go with one of the stands at the airport. However, I would not recommend this because we were sweating our balls off waiting for the car to get there. He was so over me, y'all. <laughs> The quarantine package was $375 per person and included private transportation to the hotel, three meals a day, your two COVID tests, daily laundry service, and then your room and board. We decided to go with the Best Western, which is a three-star hotel in Jakarta, and we both thought our stay there was pretty comfortable. This is the breakfast. There's two little pieces of chicken, some rice, and like four green beans and a banana. So if you're like me and you like to eat, what they give you at the quarantine hotel is definitely not gonna do it. You're gonna have to supplement with either um, Gojek or like Grab or app like that. I just got my COVID test done and I have been so scared about this part because in the US, a lot of testing sites no longer do like the really aggressive like all the way up your nose test. They do like the gentle nose swab. Um, but that actually wasn't that bad. So we get the tests, the first PCR COVID test today, and then we get the results tomorrow. And if they're negative, I believe we get to continue the quarantine for the five days and then test out with our last PCR test on day five. If they're positive, I'm not really sure what happens. Um, when we checked in, I asked them and they said they've never had someone actually test positive before so it's unclear if they'll let us continue to quarantine or if we'll be sent to a hospital or something so we shall see but yeah it wasn't that bad y'all okay guess what's for lunch today no for real guess chicken and rice and green beans can you believe it it is 6 a.m and I am up and dressed. I even put on makeup today because it is officially our last day of quarantine. I'm so happy. If anything, this experience showed me that I am not built for prison. Like I will not last. Being confined to one room and only eating the meals they give you, it's just not for me. So I'm glad that it's over. So I'm on my way to the front desk to get my passport back and my clearance letter. I was actually supposed to be flying into Bali today, but they extended the travel ban, the domestic travel ban due to the holiday to help um, stop the spread of COVID. So instead, I am going to go out and explore Jakarta. Y'all, today has been <laughs> so crazy. We thought there was still a travel ban in place, but we were like, let's just go to the airport and see if they'll let us get on. And so we bought our tickets like two hours beforehand, went to our hotel, packed up all our bags, rushed to the airport, and now we're here in Bali. So happy to be here with me. I'm out here, you know, I'm trying to get my body right, you know, yeah, I'm out. it's only day two. And she got me drinking lighter fluid, dog. Like, if y'all could drink this, she don't want to drink it. So that's how you know it's bad. But then she want to test my ego. Try again, try again, try All 
right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, please, please, please make sure to subscribe. It would definitely mean a lot to me if you have any questions about traveling to Bali or if you have any recommendations for me to do while I'm out here, please leave them in the comments below. All right, I will see you guys on the next video.